Hey, hey, welcome YouTube. It's been uh, many years. Good to be back. First video, I think, in like four years. So, cameraman Matthew. Hey. Hi. <laughs> so, um, what was the what was the motivation to get back into content creating? I've been wanting to get back for a long time. You know, we all know what's happened over the last few years. I kind of had a lot of downtime from both competitions, training. The last 12 months, I've been fully committed to training, nutrition. I've just, yeah, just really just knuckled down. I wanted to this year to be a big year, both um, training-wise um, and commitment-wise to, to all of you. Uh, so I promised myself this year that I would start doing content again through all my social media platforms. There hasn't really been a special reason why other than those, and I'm just making time now, making time to get it all done game plan is to eventually prep for a show. At the moment, I'm just staying healthy, um, trying to stay as fit as I can. Um, obviously, for those that haven't seen, I compete in Classic Physique, so I've done a couple IFBB shows pre-pandemic, the Arnold Classic in Ohio. Uh, made finals the first time and just missed out the second time. So the weight cap has been lifted, which is good and bad. I didn't really fill out my weight cap originally, so knowing that I have even more room to grow is a good challenge. But yeah, so the long-term long, long -term play is to um, compete again. Uh, but for now, I'm just doing it just because I obviously love it, want to stay healthy, and I'm trying to stay as lean as possible this time. I used to have a bad habit of uh, blowing out a little bit in the off-season and then becoming a little bit conscious of social media and avoiding, you know, photos and YouTube. This time I've committed myself. That's sort of the plan for now, just to see what my body looks like. Uh, I've been dieting for about four weeks now. I'll do another six weeks and just see what we look like and work on the areas and then find a show and that's it. We'll start posting consistently now, which is, which is cool, which is nice. It's a commitment that I've made and that I have Matt. He's going to keep me on the ball making sure that we're filming all the time. For those that are already subscribed, you know that I've started posting a lot of shorts recently. Uh, I'm trying to do one short every day. So momentum's building, but good to be back behind the camera, training, dieting, things are moving well. So yeah, time to film some content, get some uh, good footage, some fun things, maybe some travel vlogs, stay in the lives, whatever you guys want, comment below. I'm just warming up on the bike. I'm gonna hit some arms today. So today's an arm day, but... But I haven't trained arm in four weeks, so I'm curious to see how today's gonna go. I'm yeah. definitely gonna be sore, but arms are quite overpowering for me, so I um, don't really train them. Son of a bitch. However, I should at least get some form of a pump in them every every few weeks. Uh, but today we'll do a proper session. Um, we'll see. We'll focus on a few little areas. I'll do my general routine, which you'll see. It's very intense, very quick. Um, my rest periods are still short. It's probably shorter than what they were four years ago. But intensity is high. All right, show us your arms. <laughs> <laughs> oh. So they're still there. After four years, they're still there, guys. All right, let's do it. <laughs> Warm up done. That was a warm up. 
Hmm? That was a warm up. Yeah. Yeah. A couple sets, tries and buys. So, seated curls, arms curling out, elbows tucked in. So we'll focus on the inner bicep of the two heads. And then just some dumbbell skull crushes. Um, I find that I've been doing dumbbells recently. I get a better, better squeeze out of it. So. Do you, do you prefer dumbbells over cables though? Or over cables? Uh, for this particular exercise, yeah, yeah. So I'll do, um, for a skull crusher movement, I always prefer dumbbells. I'm very old school with the way I train, lots of dumbbells and barbells. But we'll have some cable exercises later on. I tend to finish on cables with most of my, most of my training. Um, and then I'll try to load up on the weight early on and then fatigue the muscles with cables okay. and lots of squeezes, pumps. But yeah, so we'll focus on all the heads today. So the two bicep heads and the three tricep heads. Should be a good session, should get a good pump. Gym's empty, which is always a bonus. It's very true. Yeah. Now working sets begin. So rule of thumb, or I always try to hit 12 reps and make sure that it's, a, it's like a hard 12 reps. If we fail at, at seven to eight, always I always do a drop set. So that's my little tip for the day. That's how I train, and I find that's probably helped with my muscle growth, specifically in arms. I always try to keep the reps relatively, not low and not high, but not too low. You swear by drop setting? Uh, only if I don't hit my rep range. Drop setting's a good like way to push past failure in some exercises, but um, I don't do them all the time. Only if I just don't hit my rep range. do my skulls a, a little bit weird, I'm sure you've all noticed. Um, as I drop them down to my, to my skull, I rotate my wrists and allow the dumbbell to, to almost fall flat. I find rotating my wrist engages my triceps a lot better. I don't know if it's a thing or not, but for me, I feel it a lot better and I find it burns out my triceps way harder. I'm tired already. <laughs> Oh, by the way, this is my new gym. <laughs> What's your favorite thing about this gym? The reason I actually signed up to this gym is uh, because of the culture here. So if you take a look around, you can see a lot of squat racks at the back, a lot of platforms. Um, it's got a really good powerlifting community. It's something that I've never experienced at my older gyms. So that's probably my favorite thing about training here. Um, you'll see when it's busy, if we film one day when it's busy, the camaraderie, the support that everyone has. Um, you know, the gym almost stops uh, to show support to someone that's doing a heavy lift or that's pushing past their limits. Um, and you can see over there, the strong by choice on the wall. They cater towards everyone. So that's probably my favorite thing is just the culture. Um, it's really cool, really cool atmosphere. Everyone's super friendly, super supportive. And that's kind of where I'm at in my training phase, I guess, if you want to call it. Um, just being at a gym that's not overly, doesn't need to be hardcore. It just needs to be a positive environment and very supportive and that's exactly what's here. So. It's been cold, yeah. I don't think you've even said that. Tra training day. Uh, training day. I'm at training day. Yeah, we're working with find it at. Ah, there's a few locations. There's a new one opening up in Scoresby. This one is the Clayton one, uh, which is my main gym. And there's another one in Burwood, which I trained at many, many years ago. Um, yeah, training day. Check them out. All right, so that's set one. How long was your rest periods again? This was a way too long a rest period. Yeah, I was gonna say. Way too long, slacking off, yeah. slacking off. He's got me doing <coughs> 60 to 90 second rest period, and this guy here is doing another two minutes. <laughs> Forgive me. <laughs> Forgive me, it's been four weeks since I've trained arms. Another tip that I do is uh, when I am seated on my uh, curls, elbow behind the torso and curl up from there. Uh, it helps target the, the inner head of the bicep much better as well. So elbow behind torso, inner bicep. Anything that you've got a wider grip 
will target the inner bicep. So that's going to be the main focus today for, for the bicep. The tricep will just hit all three heads. Uh, we want to build a bit more of a peak for the next show rather than overall mass on the arm. My watch is going off. Who's calling me? Feel good. Feel good? Yeah, pump's going good, so. Three hours sleep, was it? <laughs> yeah, three hours sleep. Three hours, not ideal. Not ideal. Get your eight hours, people. Or you'll look like me, tired, all the time. <sighs> Damn! All right. Let's go do some dips and some barbell curls, my favorites. Sorry, you weren't using this, were you? Oh no, I was just... Taking over the gym. <laughs> um, still do warm-up sets. Every exercise I warm up, I'm getting old. Gotta warm up the joints. So I'll do two quick warm-up sets on here. Two barbell warm-up sets very quickly. And then we'll do some weighted dips. And we'll try to do some heavy barbells. Is that who you're trying to look like up there? <laughs> One day. It's over 9,000! 9,000! <laughs> look like and, and lift as heavy as... What are they, 25s? It's got five... Looks like it. Five 25s on either side. One day. Probably just do one warm-up set, actually. Feeling pretty good. All right. So with the, with the dips, <coughs> I try to keep my back straight and not lean too far forward or you start engaging the chest and a full range of motion, up, down, up, down. You ever get like uh, tennis elbows in the little dips? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> all the time. All the time. If I load up and go too heavy, and I over, overload my joints, yeah. and then I don't recover in time. I start, if I progressively keep doing that, I start getting really pains, uh, really painful joints, um, almost like that tennis elbow feeling. Mm. Now that I'm not really training arms too frequently, I haven't had any pains in my joints, which is good. Just, just knee, knee pain, too many squats. So, as like probably one of the sole bodybuilders here at a powerlifting gym, what's that like? Um, it personally, it's actually quite motivating. I've always been an advocate for lifting really heavy. I believe that you should always lift as heavy as you can. I just have a different rep range and different rest periods. So, seeing someone lift, or for example, squat 180 kilos is really cool. So what I'll do is, that'll be my goal, but just to do it for reps. It's, it's good and it's bad. Sometimes you just gotta check your ego, but it helps me set a lot of goals. So it's nice to see a lot of powerlifters lifting really heavy. I almost forgot that superset. <laughs> Oops. Oopsies. What's the one thing that you're um, craving now that you're on a, on a diet? Um, to be honest, I'm dieting, but I'm still eating like 3,000 calories a day. So I don't really have any cravings just yet. 
And on top of that, I still will enjoy my weekends. Like I'll have like a cheat meal on the weekends. So that su suppresses a lot of the cravings. But um, my body's been responding really well to this diet, which is interesting because the last diet that I had for the last show, I really struggled to get into shape. Um, and I didn't know why because I was doing like three hours of cardio a day. Um, my calories were super low. Um, I was under a, a lot more stress at the time, which plays a big, big role in weight loss. But other than that, this, this diet's been a really easy and I'm still eating enough to curve all that. What about you? What about your diet? Oh yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and that's on almost half my calories. That's all right. Not much longer to go for you. Oh, well, hopefully. <laughs> Maybe we'll celebrate, we'll end our diets together. We'll oh, celebrate. Yeah. Sounds good. We'll get some pizza. Oh. <sighs> Two plates, let's go. <clears throat> Plates, three plates, let's go. Last set. Last set. What Last a break. Last set, best set. Last set, best set, always, always. <clears throat> now you can probably have a better view of all the platforms I was talking about earlier. That's pretty cool. Pretty cool. So besides gym, what else do you like to do? Do I like to do? Any hobbies? Yeah, lots, lots of oh. things. Uh, cars. Yeah. Cars probably the next, next biggest hobby. Dream car. Dream car. I don't have a dream car because I like too many cars. Mm -hmm. But I'm a massive BMW fan. Mm -hmm. So probably something from the M range. Oh yeah. But um, yeah, I'd love to go on a racetrack one day. Uh, we'll see. Subscribe. Support the channel, guys. Support the channel, yeah. and I'll take you on a racetrack with me. <laughs> um, yeah, outside of cars, I like doing heaps of stuff. What's one thing that you really enjoy that a lot of people don't know that you like? That people wouldn't know that I like? Yeah. Um, I used to play a lot. I used to be full on into online gaming. Yeah, I'm playing from the office. Dad, get off our team speak line. Most people don't pick that, but that was back when I was at university. And so I used to be like a crazy gamer. What games? Uh, Dota, League of Legends. I never got into like COD or anything like that. I was really, really bad at shooter games. <laughs> I used to get sniped as soon as I'd respawn, so I just used to get angry. Um, but yeah, most people don't know that I used to be, a, not a gamer, but I used to love playing a lot of computer games when I was in my, Late teens, I'd say. Not anymore? No, I don't think I've played a game for years now, outside of like FIFA. But um, usually, yeah, it's mainly just cars now, spending time with mates and family. I don't really have much time anymore. Training, training takes up too much time. And now I'm doing YouTube content again. I've got no time. 
<clears throat> Last set, best set. Lightweight, baby. Lightweight, baby. Channel that, Ronnie Coleman. Let's <sighs> go. <sighs> A little bit of cheating, a little bit of swinging. My arms are really hard to scratch my head. The pump is happening. <laughs> and people always put your weights away. One, because I'll end up putting away for you because I have a weird OCD about putting weights away. And on top of that, I don't like seeing weights that are uneven. It stresses me out. <clears throat> All right, cables. Tricep push down, old fashioned straight bar. And then we'll do a single arm bicep curl. Kind of what Arnie used to do on the seat with the dumbbell, but we'll do it with the cables and just curl up. Are you going to drop set this or are you going to keep it uh, same rep range, uh, same weight range? Um, I probably won't drop set this one unless I fatigue too early because I'm starting to feel pretty fatigued. So. If I don't hit my rep range of 10 to 12 reps, or 8 to 12, I'll drop set. On the triceps, you know what, let's just drop set, drop set. on the triceps. So, mm. I don't normally do this, but one thing that I do throw in very rarely will be double drop sets. So, I'll start off really heavy and try to get like 6 reps out, and then I'll drop it to a, some weight that's maybe 25% less, yeah. pump out another 6 reps. And then I'll do a last drop set and try to pump out another six to ten reps. So, well, do you want to use the drop set, buddy? If the drop set, buddy, is here, let's I, use the drop set, buddy. I, I do have it here. All right, we'll show everybody the drop set, buddy. Let me go get it. Drop set, buddy. This cool little device will be on sale soon, right? Mm -hmm. Yep. Yeah. So, what it will help you do is drop set without actually pulling the pin out. So you'll see if uh, hopefully. We can get some footage of it. Let's just say, I want my first set to be on 73 kilos. And we want to- Other way, other way. So the lightest one should be- Ah, yeah. there we go. I'm still learning. So we'll start on 70, 70 kilos. So you just plug it in and the drop set will be 55 one, kilos. You've got another one, there's two. So you can do three. Oh, we've yeah. got two. I, I thought you only brought one. No, no, no. Mad. All right, so we'll set out 41 and then we'll connect the second buddy in at 55. And all you need to do is just continue your motions. And as soon as the plate touches, the bottom drop set buddy, that's what we're gonna call it now, is gonna fly out. And then I can just continue my sets. And we'll do drop sets without me having to touch the actual plates. So, super cool. Very On sale cool. soon. On sale soon, guys. It's not my product, so. <laughs> but yeah, get it, because it is really handy as you'll see now.
How's that? That was good. So, crazy pumps when you do something like that. It's good. Good idea. Yeah. Thank you. Do you prefer drop setting or, or like you only use it so, as, a, as a way or as a means to like if you're not reaching, uh, not reaching a rep range? I use it as a means when I'm not reaching rep range, but I'll also use it when, um, when I'm finding that my body's plateauing in terms of like intensity in the training or if I'm trying to, for example, get some weight loss happening and burn some extra calories, I'll start implementing more drop sets. Um, I tend to manipulate diet last and training first, so calorie expenditure first, that way I can still eat as many calories as I want. Like I am now, like at 3,000 calories and I'm still losing weight almost on a weekly basis. Oh, actually I am on a weekly basis, so I'll implement drop sets more frequently when my body starts plateauing before I need to start dropping calories again. But I generally will only do it on smaller body parts. If I'm training like legs, I tend to do less drop sets because I tend to overload on weight a lot more and my legs will just, they just give out and they fatigue. So if I was to do drop sets, I wouldn't be able to walk. Um, so I try to save those little 1% add-ons to my training, I try to save them for as late as I can as possible when my body does start really plateauing. So I try not to do them all the time. Table's not really low enough on this one. That's all right. We'll do standing. The last set was a bit light as well. Oh. Don't get lazy while you train. If the set is too light, admit it's too light and just go heavier, or you won't progress. So. What if you can do it at that rep range, but you need more than 60 to 90 second rest break? What do you do then? Um, each individual is different. For me personally, I stick to a shorter rest period only because um, my body cools down really quickly. So I find that I, I, can, I lose my pump very quickly. Uh, and then for some reason when I lose my pump, my body almost starts going to like a cool down mode and I just, it just starts fatiguing and just giving out too early. So I try to keep the intensity really high um, and, the, and the rest period is really short so that I can keep squeezing additional blood into that muscle group. But each to their own. If someone wants longer rest periods because they need it to maintain that weight, then that's what they should do. You should always listen to your body. Watch this shoot out, guys. It's gonna be a thing. That was a much better set. Sounded like it. Much heavier. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I normally train with music because I don't like hearing external voices. And so now that I can hear myself grunt, it's very strange. On top, very... Of, on top of music, what's your go to playlist? Um, I train to everything. I, oh, there you go. Here's a fact that you probably didn't know about me. I watch a lot of anime. 
yeah. And so a lot of the music I listen to is just anime AMVs of like rage moments or like very intense emotional moments. So that's what I listen to the most. So my playlist is really just YouTube on shuffle on different anime rage moments. So yeah, that's it. You got a favorite anime? Um, I got a few favorites. I like, obviously I grew up with Dragon Ball Z. I love Naruto, a really good storyline. But there's heaps. I kind of listen to, watch everything. I watch all genres. Now you see that I touch my bicep and the only reason why I do that is just to make sure that it's contracting appropriately <laughs> and it makes me build that mind to muscle connection so that I can feel it on every rep because sometimes people get lazy and go through the motions and that is not how you progress. Water break. Okay. Yeah. I think you need to get a water bottle, bro. I do need a water bottle. I drink a lot of water throughout the day. Yeah. And I don't like training on a full stomach. Okay. So I don't drink a lot of water while I train, but I drink three to four liters throughout the whole day. So I'm yeah. always hydrated. Um, yeah, just, I like having like an empty stomach. I don't eat for about an hour and a half before coming into the gym for that reason as well. So do you technically train fasting? No, no, I, I eat, I eat, I normally train later on in the day yeah. and I have three to four meals, yep. um, but I'll make sure that I feel fully digested. So there's no food or nothing. I just don't feel anything in my stomach. Yeah. I like to train feeling that my stomach is empty mm. of water and food. So there's a few reasons. One of them is just, I feel more comfortable. Yep. And the other reason is because um, when your body's trying to digest something in the stomach, it sucks blood flow into the gut region and obviously pulls it out from everywhere else. So in some cases you can get a worse off pump, if that makes sense. Last set. Last set, best set. <laughs> Last set, best set. Last set, best set. Last set, best set. That was, yeah, great pump actually. Yeah, it was good. Yeah? It's a good session. Good session. First arm session back in four weeks. All right. I should start doing it maybe every, every fortnight mm -hmm. or just adding them on as secondary muscles throughout the week. I'll probably just stick to doing them fortnightly. That way I can just isolate them on their own. But that's it. Hope you enjoyed the first video back yep. in four years. Plenty more to come. So stay tuned. If you did like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Uh, drop a comment below if you want to see anything else specifically. But like I said, we'll do a lot of full day of eating, training videos, maybe some sit down Q and A's about like nutrition and things like that. Um, yeah, and don't forget to subscribe. See ya. See ya.